Hi everyone, this is Juan Carlos from Inspire the Mindset. Today we are doing the second session of this Map of Consciousness workshop. It was a little bit uh, unexpected the way how it went today because we had to uh, record on, on, on this time and it was not fitting to the agenda that we had today. Uh, yet, let me mention about what we are doing is indeed we're creating a workshop on the Map of Consciousness. So let's jump first about that what is what I mean with the map? About more than a year ago, I would say, especially certainly after the super coach is where this came into my life. It was presented by one of my friends, uh, Coach Alejandro Bratti. He was telling me all about the map of consciousness, how this was developed uh, from a scientific point of view. Uh, it was developed by a psychiatrist, a person that also knew about neuroscience, a person that also knew about energy, an energy healer, and how he in reality made a complete research with tens of thousands, I will, I will say, on how these emotions also have a frequency that allows you to go from A to B in a faster or slower way. And that's how I started watching the idea of that emotions also have a different kind of frequency and if you get stuck on an emotion too long you might not have a negative or a positive frequency energy related to it yesterday we started with the emotion of acceptance where Miriam was telling us more about how acceptance gave her strength in very difficult moments of her life we were talking today with her as well about reason yet for the sense of today, of how we're going to reason, reason is one of the frequencies that, as you can see on map, it has 400. Uh, it has 400 in frequency. It's about abstracting information that will give you more understanding. And that understanding will be a reason, and it can be something that gives you a meaning in life, meaning of something that you want to achieve. So in terms of a business, in terms of a life a style, a life, a, a life achievement, life, life goal, this is certainly one of the uh, ways how you can accelerate your energy by focusing on the real reason of why you are doing something. And that in reality reflects a lot with what we have been analyzing, for example, in terms of Mind Valley with the, the famous three most important questions. You see, when we have and in the three most important questions, we start with the idea of that there are mean goals and end goals and how we can understand which of those goals are the ones that actually are defining the vision that we have in life. My personal experience has been, for example, in terms of a healthy lifestyle, how this changed certainly over the past years. Let me tell you a little bit about it. Uh, in reality, uh, if you have met me something about eight years ago in my life, I will probably will have been something about 10 kilos uh, more overweight, uh, we have been completely overwhelmed, overstressed. I used to work more than 14, 15 hours a day. I was the CEO of this major museum in the city. And I was running a, a team of over 50 people, managing a budget of millions of dollars. And even though it sounded as everything that I was looking professionally, it was certainly not something that was bringing me uh, the full happiness that I was expecting. Uh, with my family, with uh, my well-being, with my health. So that's why the reason, indeed, of understanding why was the reason that I was doing um, what, what I was doing, uh, why I was doing it, came into my life in that moment. And certainly that happened when I had, for example, um, when my daughter was about to be born. Now, I knew I wanted to change in my life, my lifestyle. I knew that I wanted to avoid some of the mistakes that I had seen on other leaders. So the next step for me yes, after that experience was to understand really what was the reason why I wanted to change my lifestyle. You see, I was trying to it reduce my weight. I was trying to change my habits. I was trying to understand how this was going to be an, a, a way of indeed uh, create 
a new experience into my life and in the family life of my family. Okay. And for that reason, I decided that in I went for search for help, uh, ask other uh, people, uh, coaches, uh, trainers that I met. Uh, let's say, for example, one of uh, the person that I got in touch with was a Tai Chi and a Kung Fu master, the one that was able to help me to understand how to uh, gain control over my life. Uh, and that was indeed by finding some temporary reasons. Now, in the sense of what I'm looking for, um, what I'm looking for is certainly for a, a long-term lifestyle, health, healthy style. I came to the conclusion that I needed some special uh, objective in mind. I needed something that I will be quite stronger. And I, will, I needed something that will uh, motivate me to keep a healthy lifestyle for a long term. And I couldn't find it. Uh, it took me a while, I would say. It took me certainly more than three or four years to really define why I wanted such, my, such a healthy life. First, uh, reducing my weight was not enough. Then being a bit more active was not enough. More, getting more energy was not enough. I needed to something stronger. And then it's when it hit me. When my daughter got actually older, she was about three years old. And then the the grandfather, uh, her grandfather uh, was carrying her, was playing with her. And I will say that he's almost 80 years old. And he's indeed, uh, in some sense, quite a very strong man for 80 years old. Uh, probably even as more strong than me. He certainly can run faster than me. Uh, for almost a 78, I would say, then he's quite a fit person. And the reason of it is that he was a marathon runner. He used to run marathons. He one moment even became the 16th fastest person in the Netherlands for his age. I think when he was 50, something like that. And certainly that kept in my mind about how you could, what kind of habits you can have in your life to achieve something remarkable. And that's what it hit me about having a goal where I said that I want to be 90, over 90, and I want to be able to play with my grandchildren in the same way as I can play with my child at this moment. And that became the goal, the reasoning behind uh, working on my lifestyles and my healthy lifestyles in a very long period of time. Now, that's in the also in the importance of this sense has been how you can also take that objective, break it down into small pieces. Because what it happened to me was that okay, if I have really big reasoning behind that is giving me the energy to keep these healthy habits that I'm implementing into my life, how can I break it down so it becomes more uh, achievable? Uh, what what is what I need to accomplish? in order to make it more achievable. And then is when I came up with solutions like, for example, okay, in 10 years from now, I want to run a, in, at this moment, in five years from now, I want to run an Ironman, maybe earlier. Uh, in a, a year ago, I just said like, okay, I want to run first a marathon. I accomplished that. Now I want to run a marathon under uh, three hours. That's my next objectives. Now, then I want to run the six more important marathons in the world. And that's how I still keep breaking this event down. That way I can keep an objective in mind that I can achieve. And at the same time, I know that all these milestones are part of this quite bigger, uh, audacious objective that I have in mind uh, for when I'm over 90. So that's an, an idea to give you about reasoning, uh, an idea of to give you about how reasoning can work on a long term. Uh, not only on a long term, uh, it can also be break it down into small uh, moments of reasoning, moments of understanding why you are doing what you are doing in order to have small achievable points that you can measure. And this can be applied to business as well. So in that sense that we already have reached the 10 minutes, this is what I would like to share with you today. In terms of reasoning, there's something that I also have found about business, about business coaching, about running agencies, about scaling up companies. And it's the sense of 
uh, the the way how you find purpose for your business, for yourself, for your business coaching, for your for your endeavors, and how these sentences, these questions, always hit in the same spot of awareness. I will call it in all these different aspects. So, in the sense of giving you questions that you can always apply to find reasoning on what you want to do. I will mention you do and in something that I really love that is called value hacking. The three questions that are always there is why, the why of your purpose, the purpose of what you are doing, the why now, why is really important what you are now for you, how, why is now relevant for you, and why you, why is really that situation really attached emotionally, physically, uh, to you with your story. Interesting enough is that I have found these three questions of value hacking, of purpose driving, of vision, uh, bonding, also in other areas of like influential growth, influencers growth, influential uh, development of businesses as well, where instead of using why, why now, and why you, they also talk about a uh, attaching your origins, going to your origins. So if you talk about like why you is your origin, where where this business, where this idea connects with you. Furthermore, about and once you have your origins, then we also have for companies, what you normally know is the vision and the mission. The vision indeed is where you want to go, uh, where we want to be. Uh, the mission is how are you going to get there? So, for example, the why now and the why indeed. Now, um, with that, that's the segment of today in terms of reasoning, in terms of uh, how this idea of having an, a clear understanding of your purpose, of the reasons why you're doing what you're doing, can give you a boost of energy. Uh, it's connected in, the, in, in between the five strongest emotions that you can have in order to move from A to B in the map of consciousness. It gives you understanding, it gives you meaning, it, for a sentence, it makes you wiser. So that's all for today. Thank you for attending to this second session. Tomorrow we're also going to have again a uh, friend, a fellow coach, Miriam, to join us on the emotion of love. For that, indeed, about telling, remember, these sessions are in in do if the purpose to share with you on some of the ways how you can recharge yourself in Tallinn to have a great experience this coming weekend in the Super Coach 2024. I hope this helps. I wish you all the best and this beautiful evening, and I see you tomorrow. Bye bye, everyone. Thank you very much. <laughs>